Okay guys, so I've got that Word document up <clears throat> and I have went ahead and tweaked it a little bit uh, to fit this project. So we've got our recently completed work, next steps for our team, next steps for the land attorney. Then I've got some things the client will have to look at, at least one. And I've got a, a reminder here. I'm going to have a couple reminders under this section. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start this. I'll just show you guys how we do this. So the, the first thing I start with is always the recently completed work. So we're going to say um, we prepared a lot line adjustment. Uh, let's say proposed lot line adjustment exhibit on eight and one half by eleven inch sheets as required by the city of Tracy. This exhibit shows the existing parcels and easements, the proposed parcels and easements after a lot line adjustment is complete and the existing utility connections. Okay. And we're going to say we performed utility mark and locate work on the site and surveyed the utility marks. This data was used to plot the approximate location of util major utility connections to each building on the uh, proposed plot line adjustment exhibit. We're going to say we made our initial submittal of the lot line adjustment application to the city of Tracy and met in person with the land planner to discuss initial city comments on our application. In response to initial city comments on our application, we prepared a uh, LLA owner uh, LLA application owner authorization letter. That's something extra that the city asks us to do. Okay. So next steps for our team. Uh, let's see. There's a couple other things we did. We also requested an updated land title report from Old Republic Title Company. The authorized authorization letter and updated land title report and a check for the environmental review fee were delivered to the city of Tracy. Okay, so that's what we've done on the project basically in the month of January. So next steps for our team will be to review the next set of city comments on the lot line adjustment application prepare proposed easement land description packages for easements required by the city of Tracy as part of the lot line adjustment Review any conditions of approval issued for the lot line adjustment with the land attorney. Ok, 
Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. Okay, next steps for the land attorney are going to be review conditions of approval issued by City of Tracy with a land surveyor. And we also need the attorney to. That's probably it. Uh, we're going to. One other thing we're going to do here, we're going to prepare a letter protesting payment, the certificate of correction fee as part of the lot line adjustment application. So they asked us to pay a certificate of compliance fee and we did that. I don't think it was necessary so we're going to prepare a short letter asking that the city reimburse that. So we want the we want the land attorney to review that. Review letter protesting payment of the certificate of compliance fee as part of the lot line adjustment application prepared by the land surveyor. Okay, so next steps for the client are going to be meet with the land surveyor and land attorney to review any conditions of approval issued by the city of Tracy on the lot line adjustment application. Okay, so then I got a couple reminders that we're going to put here. Land attorney needs to review the need to abandon irrigation easement that is no longer being used. Land attorney needs to review sidewalk encroachment northeast corner of the subject parcels. and discuss remedies with the land surveyor. So we've got an easement that we're no longer using. I've already told the attorney, I just want to remind him. And we've got a little sidewalk encroachment on the northeast corner of the parcel. At some point we've got to fix that. That ball's in the, in the client's court, in the attorney's court. I'm just giving him some friendly reminders. Um, we're going to put a note. I'm going to copy this note up here. Uh, up here on this section of recently completed work. We're going to see, note, we were unable to definitively locate all utility, I'm going to say major utility service connections to each of the building as part of our recent work. We will review the building and site improvement plans as soon as we receive them from the city. We may need to revise the proposed lot line adjustment exhibit after we have received this information. So I'm just letting them know, hey, we got to do that. Uh, so we're going to add a bullet here. We're going to say we requested building plans and site improvement plans subject parcels from the city of Tracy. And then down here we're going to say next steps need to review the utility service information shown on any building plans or site improvement plans received from the city of Tracy. Okay, and then down here 
What I like to do, if, if any of this is going to be built under a TNM phase, I just like to let the client know that. So, um, so I'm going to say this will be built under our time and materials plan planning task. I'm going to say this. I, uh, this task will be uh, land planning phase under the original contract. So I'm just going to let them know um, if we're doing it, if we're building to work under the TM phase, I want the client to know that. Okay, that will also be billed under the TM. This will be billed under the TM. This will be billed under the TM. This will be billed under the TM. Okay, so none of this work is under scope. So I'm going to say this ta actually this one this task will be built under a we're going to say a new lump sum phase as part of an additional service request. So the easements we're going to do lump sum form because we can price that. We will provide a fee for this new phase after we understand what after we review the city comments on the lot one adjustment application and understand what easements will be required. Okay, so I don't want the client to get any surprises on the billing here, right? So I'm just letting them know, hey, when we know what easements the city needs, there will be an extra task there, we'll do lump sum. These other items, you know, all the back and forth with the city and the client and the attorney on the conditions of approval, that's going to be billed to our time and materials task. And the client already knows that, but we're just going to remind them because we don't want any surprises. We want the client to be happy with us. Okay. And uh, I don't have any advisories here this time. So I'm going to say there are no advisories or recommendations on this project at this time. Okay, and that's basically it. So this is what a job status look, update looks like. And a lot of these things I've already been talking to the, the uh, attorney about, either on the phone or in emails, but we like to put all that in one place, kind of concise and organized. So we'll go ahead and save this now as a PDF, and that'll be ready to upload to the website. So thanks for watching, guys. This video went a little bit long, but I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you, you've learned a few things that can help you communicate more effectively with your own clients. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.